So the type of person most people think about when they hear me kind of describe what who super bosses are, are these nurturing leaders. You know, the people that they value the success of the people on their team. It means something to them. Of course, they want to they be successful in their business. They want to hit their KPIs. They want to advance their own career, but they gain value by helping other people get better. And there are plenty of those people. I already mentioned Alice Waters was absolutely somebody uh, like that kind of the kind of the classic. But you know what? Not everyone is like that. You mentioned, you know, that second category, iconoclasts. Iconoclasts are kind of the more creative types. So our Ralph Lauren would certainly qualify that way. And the motivation here is a little bit different. It's not that, and by the way, Miles Davis, legendary jazz a band leader and trumpeter is also a classic example of the, of the iconoclast super boss. It's not that they don't care about people, but what they care about more is their art, if you will, their creativity. And as a result, they surround themselves with really, really great people, high potential talent that help push them to accomplish more and more. And along the way, anyone who's in that circle, of course, also benefits. And you look at somebody like Ralph Lauren, the number of his protégés that become household names kind of amazing. You know, Vera Wang and Tory Burch, another billionaire, actually. John Barbados, uh, Joseph Abood, John Idol, who ran Michael Kors for years and years. And so these are the iconoclasts. And then the third category, kind of the ones most people don't think, but, and they're not as many, but there were certainly some of them. And I call them glorious bastards. And what makes them glorious is that if you can handle it, because your feet are on the fire, if you can handle working for someone like this, then your career is just going to accelerate. And a classic example is Larry Ellison. 